This video will show you how to set up and create a Dasha box on the screen in Sri Jyoti Star Pro. And it's the same in the Jai Mini version. So the first thing, we, if we have here a blank page which has four cells on it, I've got the grid so you can see the number of cells. If we click here, we get the home list and you can see one of them is for dashes. So if we click there, these are the most common things that you might want to find under dashes. As you notice, there's a thing called show all, which lets you see many more choices. There are uh, dozens of dashes you can choose. So mostly uh, we want to use the Vimshotri dasha. So if we click on that, then the dasha appears on the screen. Now, there may be many things that we want to adjust about this box. So if you just click on it, then you'll go straight to this page and you'll see a couple of key options. Dashes, Dasha for this, which lets you choose which Dasha you want. And it will show little asterisks against the conditional Dashas which apply to this chart. Then there's Dasha options. So this is mainly what we want to talk about. The first thing you see, apart from the number of levels, which is easy to adjust, say we want two levels, are the height and width. Now you may want a Dasha box that is larger. So if we want it two cells high, we just click on this thing and change it to two. And if we want it two cells wide, we click here and we click here. And if we click done, you see that we now have a much larger Dasha box. If you want to fill the whole page, then there's an option for doing that with one click. Now let's go back to the Dasha options. Here's the full page option. Here's the option for the calculation. You can calculate the Vimshotri Dasha from the moon but you might also want to choose, for example, the Ascendant. So if we click here, click this item, choose Ascendant, click Done, and now it tells you that it's calculating the Vimshotri Dasha from the Ascendant, and of course, you get a different result because this gentleman has his Ascendant in a Nakshatra of Ketu, so it's starting the Dashas from there. If we click here again and go back to the options, we can see there are other choices. The length of the year, the total cycle length. Now, the normal Vimshotari Dasha is 120 years, but sometimes you want to compress it, say into one year or several years. If we click here, we'll see a lot of choices all the way up to 12 years. And this is because there are situations where you want to say so many years. For example, the US president is elected for four years. So when we do the chart for the inauguration, we select the four years from Shotari, and that gives you the story of the presidency up till the next inauguration. And other countries have longer, five years, six years, even seven years for the uh, head of state or the head of government. Now, the, there are a number of things that help us control when the dashes start. For example, do we want to start at age zero, which means birth? Or do we want to start at a particular age? Say if we click here, we can type in either a date or an age. So for example, we type in 2000. The software will assume that's a, a date because it doesn't look like an age. We click OK. You'll see it appearing here, and if we click Done, we'll see the dashas are starting with the first dasha, two-level dasha, that began prior to the year 2000, January 1st, of course. If we go back to the dasha options, we'll see Start at Before Current Date. This will override what we just already uh, did. So now we're starting with the current date and time. 
and that means that the whatever is the number of levels you've selected whatever period is currently running will be the first one and the date you see is when it started not the current date of course so the moon Rahu period started in November 2014 and it was still continuing currently of course if you prefer the month day year format you can get that by changing it in the data entry dialog under the file menu you go back to the Dasha options and you'll see basically that we've covered the options that relate to the Mshotari mainly the options that remain relate to the Rashi Dashas, there's a few of those but there is a Nakshatra fraction option and this can be either for time or for space now, I recommend using space because it's actually what Surya Siddhanta uses. Surya Siddhanta refers to using time but in reality the calculations are done based on space so there's no real uh, example in the literature that I found on actually using the time within the nakshatra in other words the time when the moon entered the nakshatra and when it leaves and then a fraction of that and then this new option called flush left columns controls the columns so in version 7 the default is that the columns spread out in the available space it's for clarity but if you are printing out and you want space on the right for making notes you can select this item and that'll do that for you in the next part of this uh, video or in the part two related to dashes we'll look at the options that you can manipulate actually on the screen thank you